God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am Jehovah. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as El Shaddai. But by my name, Jehovah, I was not known to them. That's his covenant name. Jehovah, Y-H-V-H, is his covenant name. I have established my covenant with them. God, Jehovah, established his covenant with whom? Israel. To give them the land of Canaan. So God is now speaking to Moses and reiterating and reminding Moses of that covenant he had made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A covenant that was not forgotten, wasn't aborted, and was now about to come to pass, at least in the initial phases. To give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage in which they were strangers. Yes, there was a time when Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were strangers in that land. But now, through Moses and Joshua, they were no longer going to be strangers. It was going to be their land. Hallelujah. Could this apply to the church? No, absolutely not. I have heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. I have remembered. Now, God didn't forget. He's just using human, human language to make a point. I have remembered my covenant. How many times do you see the word covenant? Covenant, covenant, covenant. My covenant. My covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My covenant. I'm about to keep that. Or rather, no. I'm about to bring it to pass, make it reality. Amen and amen. Now, time went on. They broke the Mosaic covenant and God punished them. Yes, he scattered them. But didn't God also say something most remarkable to the Jewish people after their captivity in 586 BC under King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon that um, I'll bring you back 